Hi everybody. Um, hopefully you can hear me. If you can, um, let me know. Um, it is live. It is actually, um, <laughs> I'm just kind of testing something out. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of um, shipping. Hopefully you can, I, I, I appreciate, I think the stream's been running for like three minutes. Um, so hopefully you can hear me. I'm not sure. Let me know in the chat. Oh, you can. Superb. Yeah, I thought I would do like a little bit of a, a shipping stream. I'm here. There you go. Um, yeah, I'm going to do like a, well, not a shipping. Did I call it shipping? I don't even know what I've called it now. Um, title. Let me see what have I called it. Yeah, photographing session. Yeah, that's fine that you can't. Can you see anything at all? Or is there like, n you can't even see anything? Um, is, is there a picture? If you can see a picture, that would be good. Um, right, uh, for some reason I can't get the, the chat box to work, which is a bit of a shame. But I need to figure that out. Um, chat box, there we go. Uh, properties. Um, okay, source. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure this out anyway. I don't know how this works. Um, <laughs> it's typical. You can hardly see me, uh, you can hardly hear me. Um, all right, I'm gonna have to turn the volume up. Um, oh God, it should it should be loud enough, to be honest. Um, let me just make sure. Audio, mic, okay. Um, I don't know how much louder you need it to be, but um, I could turn the gain up a little bit. <laughs> So yeah, some quality entertainment. Yeah. Um <laughs> I mm. What's with the fancy background? I don't know, I'm just trying it out. Um Yeah, hopefully the sound will be okay. I'm going to do uh, 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 here you go. Uh, here you go. I'm I'm going to do I don't like that view. Okay, I'm going to do a bit of um well, my hair is like you can see my hair is awesome. Um I'm going to be doing like um What's it called? This is why I'm not on camera. Cause just yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna just be doing like um, a shipping stream. So it not not shipping like photographing. Cause I've got some photos to take. So I thought I would do like a little stream where I'm just gonna do some photos of some items. Uh, make sure that fits nicely. Oh god, come on. That will have to do. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna sort that out. Um, I've got to figure out this chat box though, because it's annoying. You're falling into space. <laughs> Hi there. Yeah. So I'm gonna just take some photos of some items. Um. Oh wow. The chat started to work now. Finally. That's really good. Wow. 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 Okay. There we go. The chat's working as well. So everything's working as it should. So I'm happy now. Okay, there you go. I'm pleased now. Yeah, um, you don't want to see me because I I do look crazy, terrible compared to usual. Um, okay, I'm gonna get on and take some photos. You will probably see. Um, <laughs> I, I'll I'll talk you through it. Um, it's it's a speedboat, but you you don't win. Um, Karen says, need to go sourcing, just waiting for the lazy daughter to wake up. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've got a bunch of items. Um, I'm going to have to turn the gain up, I think. Hold on. Um, gain, gain, gain. All right. Okay. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear me from far away as well now. Let me know if you can still hear me, okay? I think it's decent. It might not be amazing. Um, just need to sort your hair out now, says Gary. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Hey Ryan, how are you? New year, new OBS layout indeed. Yeah, I'm gonna take some photos. Um, the first item is is this awesome boat, obviously. Um, so 
we've got to list this. Um, it, this is actually in, wait, it's complete. Um, I, I'm a bit nervous about whether you can hear me. I've turned the gain up. I might turn it up a bit more because I'm miles away from the mic. Let me just turn it up a bit more. Do, do, do. Uh, okay. I appreciate you being the guinea pigs for this and it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, I'll get rid of it. But I'm gonna just show you guys basically some of the stuff I'm gonna be shipping. Um, sorry, photographing because I need the motivation um, to get going. I've got a lot of stuff to get through. It's been sat around. Um, I've got a couple of these. I've actually got some which are just the the shell on its own. I've got nothing um, um, where there's no no insides. But this one here is actually complete. Um, so I've got various number of these to well I've got about three or four in total I think to, to list um, but these have got really annoying um, canopy problem where the canopy doesn't fit like it should and it's a real pain to remove it I'll show you what's inside one of these speed boats um, all right and let's just go through let me show you what's inside uh, there you go so this is a complete um, boat you can see it's got a motor speed controller uh, a steering st like rudder servo it's all there so this is ready to actually run um, it just needs batteries um, and then what I'm gonna do is um, like list this one obviously for a bit more money because it's complete and then I've got some which are like exactly the same but inside is empty because I've gutted them um, please let me know if you can hear me okay though because I'm gonna just check looks and sounds fine says Ryan good um, we need to see his face for a tip <laughs> Darren says <laughs> no you don't need to see my face um, <laughs> no this is not one of those cam shows you've heard of Lex um, Karen says you're back on the insta yeah you're welcome back to the dark side I barely use it though um, can we get a demo in the bath Z no you can't Ryan um, yeah so I'm just going to take some photos of this item um, I'm going to actually get the box um, it's not just the only thing I'm going to be doing um, but you know uh, let's have a look okay. this thing does come with a box I'm going to be really conscious about bending over in case you see some crack um, because that does happen sometimes um, and I don't really want to to do that um, <laughs> obviously I'm gonna get the instructions out. There's a user manual. And then I'm gonna just get this and put this as part of the photo. Okay. <laughs> um, made the decision yesterday to deactivate my Facebook. Ah. That's a good idea, Karen, if, if it makes you feel happy. I'm much happier. Um, Darren says, is this a public show or do you accept private ones? Um, I'm not doing that kind of show. Um, if sales don't improve, however, I will entertain the idea. Um, <laughs> but I won't be that cheap. Well, actually, it depends, really. Depends how bad things get, right? Um, right, just gonna... I think that this is a really good example of having a good photo space. It really helps. Okay. When you've got a decent amount of photo space, you can really um, get, you know, I think it can be quite helpful. I don't know how to display this. This is like the transmitter. So I'm going to take that out of the box to show people that it comes with it. I don't want people to think it doesn't actually come with it. Um, <laughs> I'll pay ten pounds for travel. <laughs> uh, okay. Very funny. There you go. Let's take a photo like that. I think that'll be okay. I'm not the best at addressing photos, um, so I, I'm always struggling to get good photos. Let's move this white bit out of the way. Okay. And 
just move into this one a little bit. That's not too bad. I'll be able to crop out bits that I don't want as well. Um, so that's like the main photo. And then I'm going to do, um, and then I'm going to do like um, different, oh well. <laughs> thank you for, <laughs> thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Um, so I've done, uh, that's the main photo. And now I'm going to take some photos of the boat itself. Um, just a few close ups. And then I'll take the photos of the accessories. It's a bit of a kerfuffle, but it's going to be a probably a hundred and forty, hundred and fifty pound item, so it's worth taking the time. Um, but I do appreciate the two pound super chat, though. Um, Lex, thank you very much. <laughs> very kind of you. Um, okay, man, I'm really conscious though, because you're seeing like my my the shape. It's not good, you know. Um, I got them lights and have used them <laughs> once. I find natural light so much better, but I think it's because it's clothing, says Karen. You know, the thing is, Karen, when you're using um, white lights, you have to adjust the white balance of your camera. A lot of people find that when they use really bright white lights, their photos actually come out worse than they used to before. And that's because the camera settings aren't right. You really do have to sort out exposure compensation. Um, you know, it's, it's, okay. <laughs> Karen has super chatted two pounds as well. Um, apparently the notification is super loud. Um, so I do apologize. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, thank you very much for the super chat. Um, I will adjust, I'll see if I can adjust that sound effect. I'll, I'll have to figure out um, a way of doing it. Maybe it's because I've got my volume up. Let me just turn that off. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is, uh, like I said, you have to adjust your exposure compensation. You have to, um, t t to for the bright white light, because you'll find that your photos come out looking duller, a bit grayer, um, if you don't have the right settings on your camera. Um, to go along with the lights. Having the lights is great, but in a way you need to learn how to photo with the light setup as well, because otherwise it does affect it. Um, okay. <laughs> and and don't talk double dash about exposure. I just take photos on the phone, not got a clue. You can, the thing is though, Karen, you can even do that on a phone. Most phones now, pretty much all phones now, will allow you to adjust the white balance and exposure compensation. So it's, well, I, I know it sounds like all kind of gobbledygook, but it, it really isn't. I mean, I, I think I'll, I'm not sure if I've made a video about it in the past, but I will do. Okay, there is actually like a bit of gunk on the canopy there. I'm going to take a photo of the back end of the boat as well, because it's got all kind of um, things on it. This is good because I'm standing up and getting some steps in on my Fitbit as well. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm doing all right for today so far. I'm gonna take this off, and then I'm gonna take a photo of the insides of the boat as well, for prospective buyers. And they can see it, and I can explain to them about them not fitting amazingly well, but that's their problem really. When they buy the boat, they're gonna have to deal with that. Um. <laughs> Okay, because Karen and I have paid, do we get extra private shows later? L like I said, at the moment I'm good, um, but like if if things get really hard, uh, I'm in sales. <laughs> oh god, I'm enough of that kind of talk. Um, <laughs> god, what did I just say? Um, <laughs> no, no, you won't. There you go. <laughs> Alright, um, I'll just take a photo of the accessories as well. Okay, so we've got some photos. I want to figure out a really good way of um, showing you the photos as they come out as well. That would be super cool if I could actually show you guys the photos straight away. Because at the moment, I, I can't really do that. Uh, those are the photos I've taken. 
So you can see the top of the boat there. I don't know. Yeah, that's not going to work, is it really? Okay. Anyway, that's not going to work. Um, Happy New Year to you, Christian Filth. He's talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get his exclusive photo set of him in the bath. <laughs> it's a bit early for this kind of chat, guys. Surely. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. You guys are funny. Um. <laughs> right. So, that that is that. Um, I think what I will also do is I will package the boat back up into the... Um, into the box and then I'm gonna um, and then I'll take a photo of the boat in the box as well so the customer can kind of see how they're gonna be receiving the boat you know I've, I've already tested it so it's all working um, the Southwest sellers thanks for popping in take one with you in the boat yeah I can't I can't fit in the boat unfortunately I'm a bit too um, it, it, there's a size issue with that. Uh, steps, you do too many steps, dude. <laughs> no, no, not enough steps. Gotta do more, gotta do more, gotta be healthy. Alright, so here is the boat. Let me quickly just screw that down. Uh, and then I'm gonna just put that in there. I've got all the packaging as well, which is good. So um, for the for the boat. So. Okay, that is how that fits in, I believe. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. No, no, no. It's got to be this way. There you go. That's it's that way. Yeah, that's that way. Okay, so I've got the polystyrene in. Oh, damn it, nearly forgot. Bag. Bag makes it look more pro. Get it all packaged up. Um, be right back. Need to wake little lazy madam up. No worries. <laughs> wow, look at that chassis. <laughs> Very funny. Um, so what's the plan today? How many photos? How many listings? Well, the plan is I've got... A couple of these boats to do. I've got some body shells. I'm gonna do as many things as possible, basically, as many as I can. And I thought I'd share it, the photographing process, um, with you guys. <laughs> Cause you know, why not? What camera is it you use? Says Gary. I'm using um my. Oh gosh, I'll show you. Using that camera, it's a Sony Alpha um, 5000, Sony 5000. It's a budget entry level um, mirrorless camera. Um, it's really good quality for video and photos as well. So it's pretty cool. Um, is it still dark up north, says South of Sellers, or have you not opened the curtains? Um, no, it's what it is is it's it's actually really beautiful blue sky but because of the light the camera the webcam is making it look dark out there but it's actually quite bright um, <laughs> um he has to close the curtains when he does his cam shows neighbors used to complain <laughs> um bend over again the i'll pay double um i'm gonna ban you from super chatting um lex this <laughs> <laughs> There's no need for that kind of. Oh gosh, this is this is meant to just be a chill out hangout stream. I will be sitting down later and getting these photos listed. Um, but anyway, here is what the boat looks like, all boxed up. So now what I'll do is take a photo of the boat in its box. Um, and then that will kind of look nice for the prospective buyer. And then they, they'll be like, oh wow, I'll receive it in a nice box um, and everything else. So it will, it will just make it look good. Um, just kidding, Z, your fault for the cam show style setting. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's very true, Lex. 
I did ask for it. I just think it looks nice. I think I think it looks. What do you guys think of how it looks though? Seriously, I just think it looks kind of kind of cool because you know. Um, but yeah, let me know if you think it looks lame. Just say it looks lame, and I'd rather not have it. But I just like it. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Um, okay. okay. I've got a post-it note on the top, which basically tells me what I need to know about the boat. So I'll keep that on the back. It looks like a cam show. Does it really? Does it really? Um, how much of that haul have you got listed, Nelsy? Not enough of it. Um, not enough of it, Karen. Um, there's still a lot to go. So when you take photos with a camera, do you have to go along, then upload them onto the computer first? Um, yeah, I have to upload them to the computer first, and then, and then I like, then I'm able to take photos. But it doesn't take long to upload, so it's not a big issue. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll just take a photo of the. I'll just take a photo of the barcode. All right, that's that item done. See, that would have taken a while. Um. Next. This is going to be a much quicker item to do. Um, this is a body shell for a one eight scale on road car. Um, something like this, believe it or not, I'll probably be looking to get around £30 for. Um, sounds like a lot of money for just a shell, but people do pay good money for body shells, um, and especially for an 8th scale. And this is actually in the shape of a McLaren GT. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's well worth the money. I've got stacks of body shells, so I really need to start listing them. Um, Okay, uh -huh. he's live showing Beck that he's working. Very funny, Dave, how are you? Um, oh, what a royal pain in the gizzard. What? Looks fine, dude. A cam show for the professional. <laughs> I just thought it would be a cool way to do it. I like the look of it. I think it looks alright. If you guys think it looks alright as well, then cool. I'm sure it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but still. Okay. These are going to be nice, easy photos. I've got a few of these to do. Uh, okay. There's, n there's not a lot you can do here, but I still like to take a few kind of close-ups and different views. Show the inside as well. And that's that one done. And I've got another one here. Look at that. Nice blue one. This one's already got a cutout for where the engine, um, the block header sticks through. It's got a little fin there, holes cut out. Um, how big are the files you upload to eBay for the pictures? Mine are around 7 meg each when uploading 10 pics at a time, 70 meg a time. Mad, really. Dial up with like a week to upload them all um i'm not sure i'll check I, I think i've got it on quite a low setting um i'll check when i upload them so i'm just gonna take some more pics i need to get as many photos taken as possible because once the photos are done i can Once all the photos are done, I can kind of relax and um, just sit down and list them all. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I had to lower the settings of some file or well over 10 meg. Yeah, you don't need huge files, really. It's not necessary. Okay. Silver body shell. thing is, I could do these as a multi-listing, but I'm not sure I'd want to. I like doing them as, um, I like doing these as individual listings. Um, 
because you just get more you get more exposure don't you if they're different then why not <laughs> work it work it very funny and then I'm gonna get through these I've been wait wanting to get through these for ages I've got a bunch of these uh, body shells these are all designed for um, you know uh, what's it called uh, helicopters I've got a stack of them these are worth like 20 quid each been sat on them for too long so these are gonna be nice and quick to photograph so the first one is a grey shark so we'll take a few photos these are fiberglass as well so pretty cool just gotta make sure I don't get anything else in there okay make sure that hasn't got yeah that's fine So of the label, like the model number. It's quite a cool um, looking body shell actually. Okay, that's that one done. Next one is a same thing but a blue shark. Actually I've got a couple of those, have I? TL twenty eighteen. No, they're slightly different, that's a different one. I found a different one inside it. But yeah, we'll get the blue shark done as well. Wow, these are cool. These are going to make someone's helicopter look really nice. If I had one of these helis, I would definitely want to have one of these canopies on it. Canopies are good money. Um, canopies cost a lot of money. Um, is your backdrop paper or vinyl? It is... Um, um, it's a vinyl, it's really thick vinyl, it's really good quality. Um, I did pay a fair amount for the roll, um, I think it was like 40 quid, but I got fed up of using cloth and cheap backgrounds. This is really nice, and on the underside it's grey, um, so it, you can actually use a, a grey background if you want. It's just good quality and they wipe over, which is good. Um, Karen asked how many listings you try to do a day. As many as I can, um, I've not been doing as many as I'd like, but minimum I'm going to go for 10, um, but you know, it depends really, it really depends. Um, how have sales been over the new year? Shipping times uh, delayed, definitely slowed things down. Yeah, store's not been amazing, um, it's been a bit crap if I'm honest, last couple of days have not been great. Um, very poor like yesterday was terrible I think we did like 25 quid yesterday um, the day before was terrible um, you know we've had a couple of really bad days but hopefully it's gonna be good um, Southwest sellers also uses a vinyl backdrop paid 30 pounds from Amazon that sounds really good value um, yeah so it, it, it's not terrible you have to cut it with scissors if you want to cut it Dave you have to cut it with scissors because um, it's quite thick material and I've actually got some on the table that I use when I'm packing so I just roll roll this up and do it that way um, anyway I've got to get back on these photos uh, let's do this one here this is a Caro 450 This should be really easy stuff now to just list and get on with. So we've got model numbers and everything. This is easy stuff. Okay. Oh, that's that's a nice shell. It's got like a Jaguar on it, I think. That's pretty cool. This is the beauty of buying in bulk. Um, I mean, it, it, it just makes life a lot easier. But, you know. I mean, just in these canopies, I've got, you know, probably about 200 pounds at least worth. Um, so, because I'll be aiming for about 20 pounds a canopy. 
20 quid each, so there's a fair few here. Um, so let me just whack that in there. And a bit of tissue there, I think that's quite nice. Just to protect those. Got to make sure I'm not photographing identical ones. They're all different, hopefully, so that's the idea. As long as they're all different, and I can actually put up different listings and describe the colours. Okay. And they're all fiberglass as well. Another one. Have a look at that one as well. Nice little fiberglass canopies. Really good. Twenty odd pounds each. Yeah, yeah, comfortably twenty pounds each. To death by glamour. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, that's the beauty of buying in bulk. Um, you know, I've got. Look how many I've got left to to go through. There's quite a few there. So, um, you know, it won't take me too long. I just, I don't know why I thought I'd do it live, really. I mean, to be honest with you, it's probably the same reason why I do YouTube. I just like making videos and it just seems a bit strange sometimes just to me. Like, I'm like, why am I doing this? Do you know what I mean? Like, why am I, what, what is my mind thinking? Like, yeah, let me just go on and stream this. Like, it's just bonkers, really, but it's fun. Um, get to chat. Oh, this one's pretty nice. Look at that. Oh, and hold on, have I had that yellow one before? I don't know. Yep, okay, so there's a duplicate, is there? No, 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 it's different, it's different, okay. That is different. Um, what about that tarot one there? No, those are different as well. Those are different. Yeah, these are different. Okay. Yeah, these are all different, I think. Crazy. Cool. That's quite a nice one for people that are into that. Um, are they a real bugger to post, but they break easily? Well, they're fiberglass. They're actually, they're actually designed to take damage and protect the helicopter aren't they so they're they're surprisingly strong they're not that hard i mean I'd, I'd probably ship them in like a small box but normally what i do is i just bubble wrap them and shove them in a, a padded envelope um and and usually that's okay so they're not actually that bad um starly says yo 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 is this your twitch stream skinzy no i just thought i'd just try it i just pick random skins um from the um, OBS theme editor, um, but thanks for asking, Sally. Appreciate it. Um, when you setting up fifty percent discount for the stream regulars, says Ryan. Um, I don't know <laughs> who wants to buy these. Um, hit the thumbs up, says Neville. Thank you, Neville. Z, have you done a stock take of your items recently? Found twelve items that have dropped off eBay last week. Um, you know what? I need to do that, Southwest sellers. But the thing is. <sighs> It would be such a big task. I tend to find things here and there um, that have dropped off or like, like I come across, but yeah, I, I do need to sit and do a stock take, but it would take so long. I mean, I've got, I've got over the 1200 odd listings I've got, we've got about four and a half thousand individual items. So the thought of going through that just makes me want to cry. So I kind of just, I, and now I've forgotten if I've actually photographed this thing or not. Um, let me just have a look. Um, TLO2. No, I have not photographed this one yet. Okay. So this one needs photographed. Nice little American flag style thing, isn't it? It's pretty cool. Tarot. Taro is like a cheap um, brand. Um, there's a brand in helicopters called Align, which is very well regarded. 
and Taro makes a lot of parts and bits and pieces for, you know, for them, and they're quite affordable, so people buy them. Okay. That's similar to one we had before, but it's actually slightly different. Um, so there we go. Happy New Year, says Marge Simpson. Hey, Sib, how are you? <laughs> Good, thanks for popping in. Yeah, I'm just um, doing a, a, a quality shipping, well, no, no, photographing session stream. You know, because clearly this is good content. <laughs> Actually, it's all I could think of doing for the channel. So I thought, yeah, let's come on and make a video. I've not made a video for a couple of days. And plus, this way, I'm getting work done. Yeah, I'm getting work done. This is legit. This, this is quite good because I'm get, actually getting work done. It's pretty cool. Okay. That's a bit of an ugly one. What do you guys reckon that one? That's like, kind of like a lime green avocado-y colour. And then it's got red and black on the bottom. It doesn't really go. I don't think that's a very nice canopy. But someone will want it. Someone will have it. Um back in hospital and back out again oh sib sorry to hear that um how long would you expect to get out of the photo paper before it starts to discolor i've not had any issues with discoloring starly um but yeah sib i hope um i hope you feel better dude that's not cool being in and out of hospital it's such a it's just stay positive yep at least you're back out that's a good way to see it um but yeah, I hope you know. I hope you improved, Sim. But you know, it's it's just not nice, is it? Um, okay, let's get going on these. It's a lime green one. I don't think I've taken photos of this lime green one. No, I haven't. Okay. Okay. There we go. A couple of sides there. Okay. Another one. So how many have I done now? I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's eight there. So there's eight I've photographed there. So that's a hundred and sixty quid worth of sales, which is cool. Um, okay. A couple of these. Got two of those. So I'll bear that in mind. Those are KDS. This is a different brand. You can see it's got a different shape to it. That's a different brand of canopy. And these are plastic. These aren't fiberglass. I believe the fiberglass ones will fetch more money. So these may be around the 15, 10 to 15 pound mark for these each. Um, so still not terrible, but still. Um, what is it, Z, that avocado thing? Is it an Aussie part? It's, these are, sh are canopies for a helicopter. Um, yeah, the, these are... Um, Canopy, so you put them on on the helicopter to protect it and make it look cool. Ah, okay. Um, so that's what that is. Um, profits from home. What camera do you use? I tend to use my mobile, but it takes ages. I used to use my mobile. I hate using it. I don't think they're comfortable. I like using my camera. This is a Sony Alpha 5000. Sony A5000. It's a mirrorless camera takes amazing video and takes amazing photos for the money really can't complain um, and it makes it much more easy when you're taking a lot of photos it's actually very ergonomic you don't need this tripod but I just like having a tripod to hold it with um, it came with it when I bought it off eBay so I'm really happy with that but yeah I definitely recommend my, my personal opinion I've always preferred using a camera over using um, over using a mobile phone mobile phones are not ergonomically designed uh, to take photos over long periods they're just not they're just square blocks um, just not comfortable at all but anyway let's get some more photos taken KDS branded plastic canopy it's a bit messy this design I think I don't like it it's a bit you know it's a bit much I'm just standing there's like Yeah, okay, that's that. Got two of those. What I'll do is I'll put those separately because those aren't the same as the others. Um, okay. 
Okay. Let's get the next one out. So far, every canopy I found is actually slightly different. So here we go. That's uh, blue and yellow. Not a good job on this. Or is, is it like it's actually speckled, like a sparkly one? I don't know if that's meant to be sparkly, but it's not sparkling. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, what does mirrorless mean? Says DBG. Mirrorless cameras, DBG. Are, it's just a type of camera so you know um, it's basically how the light reaches the sensor so you may have heard of DSLR cameras I, I'll give you like a bit of, okay so you may have heard of DSLR cameras DSLR cameras are like those big cameras with the interchangeable lenses um, and that stands for, for um, a digital single lens reflex now what that ha what meant on that is what that means is the shutter has like a mirror on it. The light hits the mirror and when you click it, um, you know, when you click it, you open the shutter. Like, so it lifts up, it's like a flap. It lifts up and lets light through to onto the sensor. Um, but because um, the image doesn't hit the sensor straight away, it's it uses the mirror. So I believe that's like my understanding of it. I've probably got it a bit mixed up. Whereas on a mirrorless camera, the light goes straight through. There's no mirror. In, there's no mirror on the shutter. There's no like you know. It just goes straight through onto the sensor. So um, it means they're very quick. A lot of professionals are switching to them. Uh, really good image quality. Um, so that's my rough kind of explanation. Um, but there we go. Um, wow. Okay. A couple of chat coming in. RJ says, "Great camera. Need to get using mine again." Says RJ. Marge says, "I have." Well, Sib says, "I have the A6000." Too, but I don't use it enough. Proper DSLR cameras aren't comfy for me, very bulky. I agree. Sony cameras in general are insane. Sony's repair service is top rate. Yeah. Boring but proud. Just Frankenbox something to go by Royal Mail. Got it to nine. Wow, that is very, very um precise there, Lex. Nineteen ninety nine. That's just, um yeah. You need to be careful. Who forgot the hairbrush? Yeah, this is my hair in the mornings, guys. Um, that's why I haven't been. Um, that's why I haven't been. Um, you know, like, thing. I've not been um, on the camera as much. <laughs> Face shot that normally costs more. <laughs> okay, well it's back to the. Um, it's back to the action. There you go. Back to the action there. <laughs> Um, Sony A5000 noted, I busted my Galaxy S6, says DBG. Honestly, it's a really good camera. Um, you, you won't be disappointed. I really like it. Um, Kevin says, is your address on eBay accurate? I'm going to take a break from eBay and think of sending you some stock that I've left over. Kevin, that's very kind of you, but I, I yeah, my address is accurate, but I'm honestly good for stock. We're, we're like... I do appreciate it though, Kevin, but um, you know, I'm I'm good for stock. We've got enough to be getting on with. It, although it, I really do, I think that's a lovely gesture. Um, okay, let me see. I've not photo. Okay, I've got. You know what? Because I'm talking as well, I'm forgetting whether I've photographed stuff or not, um, which is really silly because it shouldn't be that difficult for me to remember. Okay. okay, so th for those of you wondering, that's a, the that's a fiberglass. I don't know if you can actually tell the the, the texture. That's a fiberglass canopy. It'd be worth a little bit more. That's a plastic one. Um, I don't know what Ryan said, but I'm gonna. Oh, face shot. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Gross, Ryan. Gross. <laughs> it's just gross. <laughs> what do I? What? To be fair, I, I I do bring it upon myself by doing a chat like this, um, but there we go. Um, all right. Question: How long did it take you to christen that table, Z? If you know. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm not going to dignify that with an answer, Ryan. <laughs> um. <laughs> anyway, it's not big enough, really. It's a small table. Um. 
Z, have you seen or do you own a halo ring light? Excellent for anything and you can you can hang in picture. I've seen them, I've just not, I bought these lights ages ago, they've been working, um, so I'm pretty happy with them. Wow, oh my goodness. Check that out, what kind of a canopy is that? I mean, you know what, this is the thing, like when you, when you get stuff from China, sometimes they just don't understand, um, they just don't understand like what's acceptable and what's not. Um, that's just, that's kind of disgusting, quite frankly, and anyone that would, that would want to use this, um, you know, I wouldn't want to be associated with, and, jeez, oh, I mean, why would you want that on your radio control helicopter? Um, you know, it, why would, you know, it just doesn't make, and the thing is, they think, they don't think twice. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm not going to be selling that at all. I'm going to be destroying that. That's just garbage. Um, I don't know. That's just disgusting. I don't, like, why would you put that on, you know, why would you put that on your helicopter? Like, why? Like, wh what? You, unless you're... Uh, anyway, let's not go into that. It is what it is. It's not getting listed. Um, yeah, Karen says, not sure you can sell that on eBay. Yeah, I wouldn't want to sell that on eBay, to be honest. Um, sit on that part later. Um, and Karen says, do a video of you smashing the shit out of it. You know what? I, w I, I think burning it. I might burn it. Um, yeah, just I just think, you know what? There's a, it's not like it's a historical item or anything. Um, you know, like it's not like it's, for, it, it's a recreational item. It's from a hobby. Um, and you know, I just don't appreciate like why you'd have that on a hobby item. Like it doesn't, anyway, my says, I'm so out of the loop. Where did this stock come from? Um, this stock was f the result, um, of a, this was from a result of an eBay pickup actually, um, Sib. I bought some stuff of a guy from eBay and it turned out he had a bunch more stuff. Um, and, um, and um, yeah, he I bought the rest of it. It was a really good price. So um, yeah, really pleased with that. Really pleased with that. And this is the final shell I'm gonna be photographing. I've actually got a coffee here, it's going all cold. Hmm. And DBG says, I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then this is gonna be the final shell. one sorted okay so that's the shells done so that's another bunch of listings I have now got available to me which is really cool Just swipe that in there that's the guy in there as well and I'll put those down here for now um, Next, I'm going to be photographing that. It's a motor. This is really frustrating about when um, uh, when you are doing radio control stuff. Is sometimes when when these models are put together, they use thread locker to keep screws in place, especially on motors and things. And I've had I need to buy myself a Dremel. Really, um, I actually had a stripped screw which I tried to remove with one of those grab it screw removal tools and it broke off in the freaking screw and now I can't remove this motor mount which is a real frustration I could get a Dremel and Dremel it out but I'm actually going to list it with the fault um, and then I'm just going to um, sell it this is actually a water cooled motor from the boat so you can see it's actually got ports there um, through which water will flow to cool the motor um, as it's running on the uh, as it's running basically um that's that's what i would say um right um bex comes home <laughs> to what you, comes home what you've been up to z world baby <laughs> very funny um 
drinking water here, says Karen, trying to get water intake up and coffee intake down. That's a good idea, Karen. Um, <laughs> not got any DVD. Need to go food shopping as well. Yeah, I need to go food shopping as well. Um, it's one of those things where it's um, crazy at the moment. Like, you know, when you run out of food and you just haven't been to the shops. Z like with plumbing, if you heat the fitting without melting the plastic, it will come loose without much effort. Ah, oh, okay, Starly. That's interesting to know. Something I might bear in mind. Um, in the meantime, I think I might just... Because I, I would like to remove those, but then again, no, I'm not going to. I'm just going to list it. Because I've already got a listing up, because I've already sold one of these. Um, so the listing is actually already up. Um... I'm just going to list it and just explain it in the listing. Uh, you know, please note that the um, that there is an issue. I'll just photograph the screw. There you go. I'll just photograph the screw. that's that sorted as well I've got a bunch more things I could actually get on and photo as well what else am I gonna photograph Hold on. Again, the beauty of bulk buys, I'm just going to list these batteries. So this is going to be a nice, easy multi-listing as well. These have got the Tamiya connector on them. So they'll work with a lot of RCs. So, nice, easy battery listing. And then that'll be another few items. These are worth about £10 each, so not a huge amount. But they will go through as a large letter. And I've got three, six, seven, eight in total, so about 80 quid's worth of sales there. Um, take a photo check of that. Okay. There go, there's nothing more to it, really. That sorted. Um, what else do I want to take photos of? I'm just going to pick up some more random bits. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go through what I've taken so far. Let's get you back on the... Um, let's get you guys back on thingy. And then just move the camera. There we go. Oop, I've messed this up. Okay. I'm going to have to lower the gain as well, I think. Otherwise, you're going to go like deaf or something. So... All right. Hey, okay, guys. Yeah, I think I'm going to just get on and do some photos. I've got a lot of drones for sale as well now. I've got, like, loads and loads of, dro of drones now that I've got. Or about eight, not loads. Eight of these ones, anyway. I've got loads of other ones. Um, Right. Um, talking about hobnobs? Um... <laughs> Um, chocolate hobnobs. No, I, I love hobnobs, but I've not had biscuits for a while. Um, okay. I married Carl twice just to confirm his facts as Karen. <laughs> um, of the two hauls, what has surprised you the most in terms of how quick um, it sold or profit? 
Um, there's actually three halls in total, but I'd still probably say I don't know really. They they've all been pretty good. Um, I can't really say that one's significantly better than the others. Marge says, for some reason, this layout reminds me a cross between Philip Schofield in the broom cupboard and an early 2000 cable TV auction station. Thank you. <laughs> and Starley says, Z, do you have a drone license? Um, no, I don't have a drone license. Do I need one? I mean, do I need a drone license? Should I show you some drone skills? I don't know if there's any battery left in this one, actually, but I'm sure I've got one which does have battery. Let's have a look. Show you some mad drone skills. Well, not really, not mad, but yeah, you know, I can. They're so easy to fly these things. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I needed a drone license yet. Um, I've not been, um, I've not actually been in the loop on what's going on with the old. Okay, Let's see if I can actually do this now. Oh, okay. Oh, nope, no, maybe not there because it's a bit, you know, that's not right, is it? I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's difficult when you've got stuff, like, everywhere. Um. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. Oops. It can, this drone's quite cool because it can, um, fly, um, it, they can fly upside down as well, which is quite cool. <laughs> um, nice try, Z. We know you were at Gatwick. Very funny. I'm looking like a black Furby, says Dave. Okay. Um, pro probably bringing in after, gra uh, after Gatwick. That hair is magical. <laughs> can we get a moment of silence for it? It's, yeah... I don't know, it's just a lot of hair and I can't be bothered to brush it and stuff. You know, such a waste of energy and time. I don't know, what am I going to brush it for? Do you know what I mean? Like, what's the point? It's too long anyway. Like, my hair is just... I need to... I need to get it... I think I need to get it styled. I don't know how to... How to do that, though. It needs to be styled, though. No, only if you fly them for commercial reasons. Surveying aerial wedding footage, or if you film at altitude, like you'd want one if you had a Mavic Pro. Oh, okay, and yeah, now these are just toys. Think need a haircut. Yeah, I do need a haircut. I do, but I just don't like doing haircuts. I don't know, it's just, you know, it's not my cup of tea. I, don't know, I hate getting my hair cut. I hate going to the barbers, and oh, it's just frustrating. I don't know, it's just, it's just not. It's not enjoyable. I don't enjoy it. Um, you know, you have to sit there and then, oh, just, I don't like the thought of it, actually. I really don't. I don't. Um, Dave says, listen, listen <laughs> to the girls. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I need one, but oh, I just, I don't know. I'll just pat it down a bit. Look, there you go. <laughs> that probably hasn't done anything, but from make it worse, maybe. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste my photos across. What I do need to do, though, is I do need to trim or cut my eyebrows. Like, I, I need to get them trimmed because they are crazy. Um, I know I need to go to the barbers, but, you know. Um, Starly says, love a fresh haircut. Can get a sick 90s heartbeat shed into it. <laughs> um, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> but yeah, I do need to get it. I just don't want to. Just the thought of going there and sitting there is just so off-putting. Right now, I need to quickly edit my photos as well. Um, it doesn't take too long. It's worth doing, I find. Um, that's my opinion. Um, right, right. Let's get going. I'm just going to crop quickly and brighten. I tend to edit my photos in bulk, so it doesn't take me long. So I kind of just do like a, you know, instant, um, you know, like bam. Um, uh, the only thing that can take a, like a, a little bit of time is cropping, but not much. Um, what's up, guys? This is Retro Boot Disc. It's my first day back to the office job today. I'm jealous of you full-timers. 
don't be jealous retro boot disc it's so not that great sometimes um you know it's it always sounds better than it is because you know you you when sales aren't there and stuff it's never like amazing it's you know you've got to bear all that in mind it's never all just you know whoop, whoopie do type stuff you know that's what i would say but yeah it is cool in ways when it's when it's going well um right um dbg uh, so karen says um right all li realists are done need to get my kids butt into gear so i can get out catch you crazy kids later thanks for popping in karen i'm probably not going to be on for too much longer but appreciate you popping in um and dave says get it cut or we send hicks in starley says i remember seeing a guy with a brick wall shaved into his head um being in croydon i wonder how long before someone spray tagged his head Oh gosh, yes, that would be a possible possibility. Yeah, but working in an office sucks. It does. Um, Beck had a real tough time this morning motivating herself uh, to go into work in a similar like officey environment, but but customer facing, working in a surgery, so it's like in a way worse. Um, but yeah, it's not. It, I, I'm not. I'm. It's a difficult one because you know. It is. It is. T they're both not great situations. Um, working for yourself is good when it's going well. Um, but you know, there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting some croppage done now. Just cropping some photos. I do it all on my keyboard. It really makes it a lot quicker because I can just cycle through the photos quickly and adjust them how I want um I could even I'm just thinking can I actually share that window that'd be quite cool um but, um I don't know how to do it I can't do it right now because I, I I'll mess up the um the stream maybe unless unless I add um Uh, let's have a look. Um, I don't know actually. Can I? Can I do it? I'm not sure. Um, like more scene or something. Um, 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 um. New scene maybe. Nah, I can't do it. Not right now. I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to mess with my thing um uh, Z what are your thoughts on be a backer I'm not quite sure oh you're talking about that thing that um Nick is doing with Luke um well I mean it might be for some people um it's not my cup of tea um but it might be for some people um I'm personally i suppose the way i see it is that like you wouldn't be getting donations um if it wasn't for like your audience on youtube so i kind of it's probably wrong but it's how i feel is that it maybe comes across as a little like trying to sell off of ebay um you know i think youtube have got every right to try to monetize um what they can and if they do take a cut out of a super chat, I mean, it's money that I don't expect anyway. Um, so, you know, it, it's, I'm kind of like, I'm happy for it to just be as it is. I, I think the thought of signing up to something external I kind of feel like, well, I wouldn't be getting any donations if it wasn't for YouTube as a platform or whatever. Um, and plus, like I said, I don't expect them. So it's a, any money from it is a bonus anyway, um, whether YouTube take a cut or not. And kind of I feel that, well, actually, why shouldn't they? Because they are responsible for you being where you are by providing you with the infrastructure. So I think things like Patreon and like be a backer and stuff, it's like on top, isn't it? So, I mean, I appreciate the benefit of, you know, you get all your donation or whatever, but I think I wouldn't expect people to, I wouldn't expect people to 
go and you know sign up to something just so that I can get that extra thirty percent or whatever. I'm not because, like I said, I don't expect anyone to donate. Do you know what I mean? I don't like you know if you do that, it's great. Um, but that's just it. Um, okay. Um, ooh, gosh, 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 gosh. Retro Buddhist, I'm back to work next week, says DBG. Um, I do some morning work part time. Tap Peddler joined us. Hi, Tap Peddler. How are you? Um, and this is very personal skits as well. Um, DBG says, I feel it's a bit pointless. It's like, uh, yeah, I mean, I. It's it's it, there is a place for it obviously because there are you know it, it, they wouldn't have set it up if there wasn't a place for it I mean there is a place for it it's great for creators but um, yeah like Starley says agreed when Steve was was our super chat is right there yeah I think convenience is a massive part isn't it convenience is a massive part and plus it's just what it is Ryan says YouTube and Streamlabs do an awesome job exactly. Just look at what they provide for you. Be a backer. You can just use PayPal gift if that hungry. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how, how it is. Um, I've not watched Nick's video yet, but as I don't have a thousand subs, the idea of being a backer did interest me when I heard about it initially, but no idea how it works yet. Um, or is it any use for my channel? Um, it may well be Tap Peddler. I mean, if, if I'm honest, I've not really paid much attention to it because it's just not something that interests me. Um, so you might you've got to check it out for yourself see what it's like um, like I don't have a clue about patreon either I just know that they're like external and I'm very much just like you know I be I'm making videos like no matter what so you know um, so it doesn't affect me really Larry master says how am I top donor I think that is based off of um i believe that's based off of the this the donations you've made through um stream labs um you know like because uh, it's all do you remember when i was doing my gaming my Fortnite streams i think it's from those those are the donations that are showing there for some reason um so i'm not sure why that is but that's what it is um hey lee mccullen hey how are you i think it really depends on what you're offering though if you're offering advice and guidance to running a business and can add real value um for people then i think it's fine good point lee yeah good point yeah if you're actually adding you know like like you said if you're actually teaching people stuff and um you know then yeah fine um but, but i suppose my my point is that if you're doing that um, and you're reaching people through YouTube, then how I feel personally is it's only right, I suppose, like in a weird moral way in this capitalist world, it's only right that the, the, the platform that allowed you to reach so many people in such an effective manner um, should benefit from it because in a way with Super Chat, that's exactly what people do. They, they Super Chat because they find some kind of value, whether it's real or not, um, is irrelevant I think because it's more about just value isn't it it's not um, value is such a subjective term as well isn't it like um, what I might find valuable may not be valuable to someone else like I find real value in watching videos of like um, you know really funny silly videos and things like that like I, I find value in it like or I, I find value in watching people play video games like I'm, I'm happy I'd be happy to donate to ninja or someone because I enjoy it they entertain me that's entertainment value it's not real it doesn't help me in my life per se but it's real value and I suppose that's how I feel but anyway that's how I feel um um, you are welcome, Sally. YouTube is a place to gain knowledge and connect with like-minded people for me. DBG says, when I eventually do it, it'll just be for the crack with other sellers. I have nothing to add to what's wrong. Yeah, it's just about, yeah, it's not about, um, it's not about, um, adding value. Like I said, that's not, value can be added in different ways. Um, I mean, like, you know, <laughs> it's, it's just, sometimes it's just about if you're entertained or not, right? Um, it, so everyone's got like DBG you have got everything new to add because you know what you might have seen people share um, I don't know like this mug and, and, and it sells for good money or whatever right you might have seen people do that but 
we've not seen you do that right so when you do it it becomes unique right um you know i might have seen um there's probably a review of this ryobi drill on youtube right i'm guessing there is a review of this drill however just because there's a review on this drill doesn't mean i shouldn't make one i should make one because it would be my review and my opinion and that's unique to me hence there hence why you should never um not put a video out if you want to it doesn't matter whether it's been done a million times before or never um that's how i feel um Larry says, I got a lot of value out of your Fortnite gameplay. Well, I, of of course. Um, and I will be doing that again, by the way, guys. I'm actually getting that itch. I'm going to be controlling how much I do. Um, so, you know, like, I'm going to be kind of controlling how much I play. Um, so that is that's that is something I, I will be doing. Um, all right. Um, Karen says, would love to watch your videos, DBG, and think there aren't, well, I know of none, resellers on YouTube in Ireland. And Starly says, sharing your own perspective adds value. You are based in Southern Ireland. eBay operates differently. Think family more local to yourself. Who would find value in what you say? Very true, Starly. I, I think there's some good points there in the chat. Really good points. Um, righty then. Let me just crop this. Yeah, Karen Steve, I was looking for other resellers based in Ireland. There aren't any. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, even, you know, that's unique to you, DBG. Exactly. That's a unique thing you've got. But even if you were based in the most resell-y part of the country, like or you were in London or something, it, it's still no reason not to. Animal says, Ryan, why is that? I tried to support you by buying a job lot and you didn't want to sell it. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Yes, right. I do appreciate that you attempted to buy those Iron Man toys. I can't believe I took them down. That's just terrible of me. Um, I don't watch resellers really now for the advice, more because of the community aspect and the fact that I like them, says Karen. Exactly, Karen. I mean, yeah, I think that's a good point. You know, I, I don't think, you know, it's all about what you can offer. Obviously, some people will be watching to learn. Um... By the way, while I'm talking to you guys, I'm actually getting some cropping and, you know, photos sorted out, which I'm really happy about. I'm kind of getting that sorted. Um, doo -doo -doo, let's just get this cropped. But yeah, I think that's a good point. I think it's it it, it grows into something else, doesn't it? It grows into like this, um, this thing where you just get to know people and then you enjoy watching their content for other reasons, you know. You're also supportive, says DBG. Oh, the community generally is. Fudge, that is me screwed then. Don't learn. <laughs> That's the thing. You don't need to, like, what do people learn from watching our videos? Like, seriously, like, you know, you, I don't know. It's debatable. It's debatable. <laughs> um, Lee says, I was coming more from the angle of being able to connect to people one-on-one -on -one and address concerns, issues they have directly with their business and coming up with strategies strategies to improve them. Good point, Lee. I, you know what? I can't even think on that kind of level. My brain's just not business-minded enough. Um, so, yeah. But now that you mention it, yeah, that kind of, you know, for, for that kind of a serve, that's more like a service, what you're describing, a real service. Um, so, yeah, definitely. Today I've learned about Z Sony. I've shared my fitting removal technique, and we all hate fascism. <laughs> yeah, it's a good good day's work, Starley. <laughs> good day's work. <laughs> Just amazing. Um, yeah, it's, it's true actually. Those those factors have happened. Um, I'm just cropping these freaking photos. Still cropping, guys. Still cropping. There we go. Um, and Cy Bugless. Hi, hi, hi. How, are, how are you? That's a new name. I picked up 80s slash 90s Ghetto Blasters because of your videos from a few years back. Mate, here. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, the amazing little items if you get the right ones. Some serious money in those, isn't there? Um, if you get the right ones. 
um, a lot of value. They're very hip, aren't they? Very hip. Um, oh, oh so I was watching some of your vids, vids last night, says DBG. Oh, yeah, there you go. Looking back at 2018, dude, what was the thing you enjoyed the most in your personal life? Um, I don't know. Um, it's been a tough year in a way, like with Beck going back to work, uh, it, it's kind of left a bit of a sour taste in my mouth, uh, 2018. That, uh, there's been a lot of good things, um, but I think unfortunately for me, they've been overshadowed by the fact that we had to accept that Beck had to go back to work and I, it, it smarts. I, I can't lie about it. It smarts. It hurts. Don't enjoy it. We didn't move all this way up here, and then like she's at work, and I'm stuck at home by myself doing this. The whole plan was that we were going to hit the ground running and do this together, and it didn't work out. Um, which which is which sucks. But sometimes that's the reality of life, isn't it? You, things don't work how how you want sometimes. Um, so unfortunately, 2018 for me is more of a um, I suppose the positive from it is lesson to learn um, a lesson to learn that this year whatever work we put in last year wasn't enough wasn't good enough we we clearly didn't make enough of the right decisions um, which and that cost us so I, I'm gonna just look at it and hopefully Beck will be able to look at it as some kind of a learning curve and then um, we can actually make better decisions going forward um, and then actually get back to a state where that we're happy with because as things are right now I'm not happy Beck isn't happy um, you know I'm just being honest with you guys it's just 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 the way it is um, Lord Ahab says happy new years are here and all th thank you happy new year to yourself as well Lord Ahab um, and Karen says it's tough I know Z but it's the right move and you will look back at this tough time and be glad it happened I really hope so. I think obviously on some level we do appreciate it's the right thing. Otherwise we wouldn't be doing it. Um, you know, it, it is a struggle. Um, you know, it is a struggle. It, you know, and I'm, I'm not saying it to say boo-hoo me. Um, you know, I'm more saying it for Rebecca. You know, she's, she's tough. Like she's got some resilience. I mean, even with the situation as it is, I would really struggle to have done what she's done and go go back and stick at a job and especially such a difficult job as well so real I mean she we're in debt uh, like you know th we're nothing without her like we this eBay business everything it's just all because of she's willing to sacrifice so much um, so yeah we've got to make the most of it this year and the pressure's on um, you know the pressure is on to make sure that we make the most of it um, yeah Karen says get six months bills behind you get a unit get out of the house and hit the ground running I think Karen that sounds amazing and I think that's exactly the the kind of plan that we're going to be um, aiming for Karen so really do appreciate that comment um, definitely um, that is that is definitely the angle that we're looking at that you know it's it's been a tough learning curve um, but yeah those are the plans hopefully use the job um you know use the job for 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 what it's there for and really make sure that we're not wasting money um you know minimize our costs um and things like that um yeah been a tough year dude but still got through it always learning very true ryan um thanks for the support lee says a true test of people's character is when things are tough anyone can be happy when things are going well dig deep and overcome it mate you can I really appreciate that lee um really appreciate it um thank you so much for the comment um yeah it, that's exactly what we're, we we plan to do um that's exactly what we plan to do it is a case of you know just knuckling down um and you know making this happen we've we have made some good choices as well so I'm, it's not like it's been a complete disaster at the end of the year when we look back at our figures we've made a significant increase 
um, we, you know we've made a significant increase in our um, you know uh, eBay sales over the over 2017 so 2018 was up on 2017 not by as much as we don't like I won't lie it wasn't as big like it wasn't as exponential 2016 to 2017 was a much bigger increase than 2017 to 2018 but it's a learning curve um, and, and it was still an improvement so um, that's that's what we've got to look at um, it's the same for us with my wife having to work. She really is the backbone, but don't tell her she won't fit through the door, says Starly. Yeah, you, you, it's, it is amazing. Um, wow, Karen, thank you so much. Beck is fab. So are you. Stop being so tough. Uh, Karen, thank you so much. Really appreciate the super chat. Um, again, honestly, guys, please never feel um, obliged to... to, to to super chat at all but I, I do appreciate it but thank you very much um what doesn't kill you makes you stronger as he says george very true um i'm just very very lucky that beck is as strong as she is because she is definitely oh wow and you know that saying that people say like behind like every successful man is a successful woman or it is a woman and stuff like that i'm not even successful but i feel like that because she's just insane um Marge Simpson Sib says tough times make the better times much more rewarding I know you'll be working harder but playing harder in 2019 oh thanks Sib I appreciate it yeah definitely that's that's just it I mean that's you know it's it is it is definitely more challenging you know when you're like trying to focus on listing when sales aren't coming in as you'd expect and you've got money tied up in stock and things like that um you know those are all challenges that we all go through those so we're all aware of them aren't we we all share those challenges we all know what it's like when when we've made choices and we've we're hoping that they're going to pay off and they don't maybe pay off in the same way or as expected so yeah, it's about adapting um as a newbie i'm finding it really hard to lift off the ground and had to take up some part-time work to keep going i know it feels um i know how it feels but keep pushing says dbg yeah very true i mean it's it, it is tough dbg it really is it's not easy i think sometimes um sometimes it can come across on youtube a little bit easier than it is um i think um ronnie hart recently put up a really good video um ronnie hart if you don't know he's a u.s uh seller who sells predominantly clothing a really good guy he's a he's a he's a lovely guy and he's very good at what he does um oh wow thank you for the super chat wow five pounds <laughs> gotta go to the post office have a good one. really appreciate it sorry that's 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 really generous of you um wow um thank you um but yeah it's <laughs> It is tough. I think Ronnie Hart, like I said, made an amazing video the other day, just recently. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. And um, he was talking about Gary V. Now, I do like Gary V a lot. I really do. I think he's very motivating. Um, he's a great example of an entrepreneur. Um, you know, the way he's building his brand, the way he reaches people, the way, you know, he, he knows how to do marketing he really does um but he's a prime example of someone that has made um reselling um look a lot easier than we all know it can be and um, we've all seen i don't know if you've if you've watched gary v you will have seen his videos very slickly edited um videos um very like um well slick editing very slick production value um all that kind of stuff right and he's going to yard sales and he's buying things really cheap and then he's showing that he's selling them you know he's selling them and, and making lots of money and he's making it look so easy and of course there are items we all know that there are items out there that you can buy and have sold within 24 hours okay we all know this but doing it um when you don't need to do it is very different to doing it and having the pressure on when you need the money from those results when you need 
for your items to sell, right? It's very different. Um, it's, I always talk about the, this, but when you're doing it just kind of on the side, when it's not important enough that, it, you know, it's, say for example, it's just holiday money or something, you're going in with a really clean attitude and you're gonna make better decisions than people that are doing this full time. And that might seem weird that, hold on, so you're telling me that people that are kind of messing around with this are gonna make better buying decisions than people that are doing this for a full living? And I would argue yes. And the reason is, it, it, there's nothing like not having that pressure on you. Obviously, if you get to the stage where you're full time, and you've got no pressure on you because you've built yourself to the level there's no pressure on you, there's no financial stresses, you will then attain that level again where you're like calm and you're gonna make really good buying decisions. But if you're Gary V and you're a multi-millionaire anyway because you've built that amazing wine business and you're a marketer, when you go out thrifting, you're doing it with a very calm and clean mind, okay? You're not thinking about, oh God, I hope I find something today because if I don't, I'm not gonna be able to sell it and um, da da da. It's very much the same as when people do demo trading accounts on the stock market. If you go to any online trading website, um, you'll see that they offer demo accounts. And people tend to do really well when it's not real, when it's not, um, when it's not, when they're not, when they haven't got their money on the line, you know, like when money's not on the line, when they're just doing it for a laugh or just to, to see, people can do really well. There are stories of people that have made millions and millions of dollars in inverted commas by trading on demo accounts. But those same people, when they actually open a real account, a real trading account and put their own money in and start trading, magically their decisions got, start going against them. And there's a reason for that and it's very psychological. Um, and I feel that, that, you know, sometimes when you see videos like Gary V's where he's making it look so, so super easy, so super simple, um, it, they can be a little bit misleading, a little bit. I'm not saying a lot because he is doing what he's showing, the, the, what he's portraying facts, okay? So I'm not saying that, that he's not, you know, the, the, the videos are like wrong or something, that they are facts, he's doing what he, you know, what we've said, but anyway. Um, Dave Rowland says, well, just reading Ninja earn 10 million from his Twitch and YouTube, all you need to do is dye your hair pink and you're on your way. I don't think so, Dave. I think people like Ninja are like, they are entertainers, born and bred, okay? He's, he's unnaturally good at video games. He has been for many, many, many years, um, naturally talented at video games. But on top of that, he happens to be funny. He happens to be entertaining. And these are all things that um, people don't realize. And that's why you see so many kids going onto, onto the internet dreaming of becoming the next big streamer and then getting upset and posting i don't understand i've got a stream and i people it, they are just they are the rock stars of today um i've narrowed it down to volume variety and the trade between work time and free time says starly um good point um start off reselling with what you can afford and work up on that dbg it helps if you sell what you like make more of an effort then says this is very personal very true ads hey ads how are you what's this new layout on the vid yeah i just thought i'd try it why not um he's got enough for a haircut now says dave very funny dave um anyone that does this full-time knows how difficult it can be it requires discipline and focus which is hard to maintain 100 percent of the time so many distractions to decrease productivity very true south london reseller how are you um, can you get Ronnie on again, says South London Reseller. Um, I'd love to if I can. Um, Karen says, what he doesn't show is the stuff that doesn't sell. There are some others out there like that. Nicole State comes to mind. Um, Nevermore Antiques says, someone has figured out OPS. <laughs> and <laughs> hello all from Missouri. How are you? Um, so, Pasta, am I watching the Dora the Explorer Reseller, says Highway Buzz. Um it may so I'm guessing the layout's not to your taste. <laughs> Southwest Seller says, what have I missed? Korea just been for today's pickups. Not much Southwest resellers, just chatting about uh, decisions and how your decisions um, don't always improve when you're full time. Um, 
right um i don't need the money to live but i put pressure on myself as one to earn earn same as carl as i feel like a leech to be honest. oh karen you can't say that um you can't say that karen you're not a leech at all you're, you're doing you know what you're doing more than your fair share i'm you know it, it, i hate when people feel like that because sometimes i feel like it as well and i know it's not true uh you, you obviously you know in your heart of hearts that you're not so you know but yeah um right i uh, built that amazing wine business says Mosib. but he wasn't self-made it was a family biz less risk for him yes very true but still he had to do something dbg says yes z i've traded forex for five years and the demo accounts are a far cry from the real deal. Exactly, DVG. It's not the same. Um, they put their emotion into their trades when it's real. Very true ads. Very true. Um, right. Um, without risk, there can be no reward. Very true. Raking profit also makes it look the same way. I, yeah, I mean, the thing is, George, it's... You know what? When you make a YouTube video... All right when you make a youtube video you're genuinely doing it to help people okay um even if you're cynical please believe that the in at least when starting out most people are doing it because they want to try to help or they just want to share what they're doing um well i finished editing my videos and cropping them whilst talking i'm pretty proud um so now i can start sh actually listing um I think people are very much like that, where, you know, they want to make positive videos, so it, it's so, it's such a balance, because you don't want to, you don't want to be like Eeyore, do you, like from the Disney show or whatever, you know, you don't want to be, um, you know, oh my god, Jack Country Crafts, that is so kind, um, guys, honestly, I really do appreciate it. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, I am, I'm humbled. Again, th honestly, I don't make these videos. We don't do these streams uh, for any donation. I do them because I, strangely, I enjoy them. Before this, I was, I've been streaming for ages, and I, you know, pl uh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Very humbling. Um, but yeah, I just feel that people want to make positive videos. Um, they don't want to make videos which are negative and it can sometimes, and I'm guilty of it as well. I've done it. I've made videos, go back on the channel and you will see, I've made videos, really positive videos about stuff. Um, but I have also made videos where, <laughs> where I've just been like, man, this is stuff. So there's got to be a balance. Um, and Sib says, reselling YouTubers are so niche, you need quite a few hundred thousand subs to make some serious money. Very true. Um, S separated says, been dabbling about on eBay for approximately 10 years. We only get regular sales when listing every day. Sales defo drop off when not listing. Good point, separated. And I think maybe that's my issue. I Maybe I'm not doing it um, consistently enough. Um, they think they will make mega money on YouTube, hence why you see so many come and go. Very true, Karen. Um, again, Jack Country Crafts, so so uh, so appreciative. Very appreciative of your super chat, um, <laughs> Karen. We don't contribute financially; we contribute ten times over by running the household and family. DBG, thank you for saying that. I that's what I wanted to say, but I didn't want to come across as like you know some kind of old value but thank you for saying that dbg that is so true you know what yeah dbg has said it all um 100 percent, 100 100 um for still happy new year to you as well starly hashtag free back <laughs> kids are getting older now though dbg hence need to make it full time as soon they won't need mummy at home um yeah, I appreciate that as well. And I ain't going back to work. Very true. Z, take it as you are both well loved, says Karen. Oh, you can get the haircut and the taxi now, says Dave. Thank you, Dave. Dave is coming up with ingenious ways for us to spend the super chat money. Appreciate it. Karen James is 32 and still needs his mummy. 
yeah that's the thing children don't ever stop um right oh wow um andy thank you for s donating five pounds through super chat you're the reason i left my full-time job um and became a full-time reseller three years ago wow i love you man and pex too of course thank you andy i'm so glad to hear it. that is working so well for you oh that is just i'm that's humbling wow congratulations andy um i'm hope it's still working well for you and i'm humbled that you take beck and i as as any kind of inspiration thank you um whilst this chat is going on i've eaten the five slices of toast says dbg oh no toast for me no toast for me i'm still trying to be tough um <laughs> wow um hey it's Steve. hi Steve. how are you thanks for popping in i'm just doing some listing now um so the haircut taxi and diner. <laughs> oh god yeah i'm actually going to be doing my um i've actually got some sh uh, photos now that i can get on and what's it called i'm so happy um yeah i've actually got some photos now that i can um you know um get listed so i'm really excited oh i've actually sold some things whilst we've been on here nice okay nothing amazing unfortunately <laughs> a seven pound 50 rc part and a 10 pound rc part uh, still still it's something it's something um thrifty trooper says hi hi thrifty trooper how are you um thanks for popping into the chat um we're just doing a bit of listing and stuff um i really need to fix this top donation button because i can see it's not updating with the super chats but we'll see um karen says already sub to the legend that is Steve. yes yes he's a legend indeed um he's got very strong opinions on um, the works of Clint Eastwood, uh, namely Gran Torino. So if you ever want to talk to Steve and get him riled up, um, mention the ending of Gran Torino. Hi Z, first day back at work, says Steve. Eight weeks to go. Wow. DBG says I unsubbed because he's mean. <laughs> oh. No, you can't do that. Um. <laughs> Is this your Twitch display, Z? Um, no, I just picked it out. Um, I just picked it out because, um, yeah, I just thought it looked kind of nice. I liked the blue and the, the, the little background. Um, watched the clothing haul this morning, and DBG is right about that eBay shop. I use them a few times, and they are amazing. Oh, okay, I'm not sure what you're on about there, but still. Um, is it like a job lot, a, a website that sells clothing in job lots? by the sounds of it and the veranda file says good morning just rolling out of bed here in windsor connecticut wow good morning um but it is a f but it is where a fair bit of my lower value stock came from ah okay yeah so it sounds like one of those websites starly what is financial success with ebay for you z and when you get there will you not push for more yes um okay currently I think currently financial success for us would be to allow us to earn two lots of income. As it stands, we earn a nice income for one person, um, you know, and that, that's it really. Um, we want to be able to at least double that, maybe triple it. And I think the only way we're going to be able to achieve that without diminishing our quality of life at home see i think sometimes we do want our cake and eat it i think i will be honest i think sometimes we do want our cake and eat it we're not willing to live like um some people like some people will uh, th there are people in the chat i'm sure that will happily and, and i've met people um that will happily really fill their home to the brim right they will fill every room with stock we can't do that um it's just a weakness in us maybe a psychological weakness um but we feel that we want to maintain the quality of life that we've currently got and improve on it we don't want to diminish it further by by putting more stock into the home so we do feel that we're going to be moving into a dedicated space which will allow us to store more because 
it looks like a lot of stock but it really isn't it actually isn't i was looking at it the other day and i was thinking it looks like a lot of stock but it's because it's in my living room it's because it's in my dining room it's it's in my conservatory not because it's, it's actually a lot of stock if you were to have some kind of a warehouse or something or even a small unit we'd probably struggle to fill it with the stock we've currently or that we're holding it just feels like we've got a lot we're actually in a very good niche where we can store tons and tons and tons of items i mean you know these crates here to my left i've shown these crates to you guys before these crates here have got what around four thousand individual parts in them you know i don't need a lot of space to have a lot of inventory um so i do feel um you know one of those things um the, the, those are the things that we need to we need to work on definitely um okay yeah okay they sell 10 kilo bundles says karen yeah um karen says i want to see my turnover and therefore profit to double this year yeah i mean that's the thing i think that's maybe where we're a bit gutted this year we did improve but it wasn't as exponential as previously um that's what we're trying to um that's what we're trying to do um Andy says, yeah, I'm trying to add brightness to multiple picks. I remember a video where you bulk changed them. Yep. What was the program you using? Windows? Yes, I was just using it. Um, let me see if I can bring it up. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. The program I use is Photo Gallery. You may have to download it. Um, the program I use is Photo Gallery, Andy. Um, so you, you may have to install it if you've got Windows 10 because I think it doesn't come installed. And when you open your photos in Photo Gallery, you can bulk edit them in terms of the brightness, the contrast, um, things like that. And it works a treat. That's what I was just using. Um, that's what I use. Um, works out at 45p an item. Oh, that's not bad. Um, 4,000 individual parts. That's not 4,000 individual listings, Steve. That's just parts. I have, um, it, it's, you know, like I've got listings where, um, you know, uh, for example, let me see, it. let me just have a quick look. Let me just give you an example. Um, for example, ooh, if I look, okay, Thunder Tiger is obviously the brand of RC parts that I have most of um, and we've got 615 listings that's it 615 listings um, that doesn't sound like a lot but on those 615 listings there's 2784 individual quantity so that across those 600 listings because there's so many multiple quantities in so many of the listings you know seven nine tens you know fours fourteens uh you know 20 something 18 something so because of the multiple quantities across the 600 odd listings it's like 2800 individual just under tiger parts and that's just one brand and obviously we carry a bunch of other brands as well so um, you know, those are, those are, those definitely just add up, um, and it works out, um, in our favor. Um, increased last year by 79% by, but profit by over a hundred percent already this tax year, says Karen. Wowza, that's amazing. Um, I'm staring away from lower value items, says Karen, and I'm trying to source all locally, but need to do 10 listings a day. So may use them for a little bit again. Not much though. Um, Starly says, great answer Z. For me, eBay success is fine, is funding college. I hate the stock laid around the home, but I love um, stacking my college fund. The end game, however, Porsche, you've got to have an end game. You know what? My end game would be a Pagani and a mansion. <laughs> That's what I would have. I'd love a, a Pagani Zonda or, a, or or one of those super expensive ones. I'd just love one of those. Um, but, you know, chances of that happening, slim. <laughs> um, post office was empty, says Sai. Well, that's good. Um, I don't want to be rich from eBay. I just want to make enough to live so I don't have to go back to full-time work, says DBG. That is initially what most people want to achieve and then i think it's just i think it's just then your human nature that then makes you want to achieve more um it may not happen that way for you dbg but um if 
I think one of the ways that I console myself or that we try to put things in perspective is if I like I started this like four years ago right if you had told Zahir who's freshly quit his last employed job and has never worked for himself in 30 was it how old was I then I'm 37 now so like I was 33 yeah um, so if you told 33 34 year olds are here um, you know what you're gonna be turning over like over 50,000 or something on eBay right I would have said yeah whatever do you know what I mean like you can make that at home but now you look at that and you think that's all right but it's just not enough and it's not because I'm being greedy but it's because you realize what you're capable of you realize what you can achieve and because you start realizing these things and you it is really like waking up in the matrix for the first time it really is when you spend all your life working for someone you know the structure you know the wage you know the hours you know all of that stuff and it's drilled into you um so i really do feel that when you start working for yourself it changes and it really makes you feel um it makes you realize what's achievable and then when you get into this world of self-employment and thanks to things like youtube and thanks to things like instagram and facebook and all these other social media platforms you start seeing what other people have achieved and as long as you have the right attitude you won't get down by it but you'll be like wow i mean you know, a great, great example in, in our community is Jay and Callum. I keep on talking about them because what an amazing example. These guys have come in and they've shown all of us what is capable, you know, what is a, achievable when you work for yourself. You know, these guys, they were, they're just like us, Jay and Callum, just like us. If you don't know about them, um, you know, if you're part of the Facebook chat, chat group, ironic I should say that because I'm not part of it, but... You know, if you're part of it, you'll know they've got a YouTube channel as well. And I have actually had them on this channel for an interview ages ago. These guys are doing immensely well on on merch by Amazon. Um, and it's just a great example of what you can achieve. So it's not that you're being greedy because now you look at what you would have looked at as amazing a couple of years ago. And now you look at it and think, yeah, it's not because you're greedy or ungrateful. It's just you've just realized I'm worth it. I can do this. I can achieve this. And it's just that natural drive we have to, to do better. Um, that's what I think. Um, hey, Sue, how are you? Thanks for popping in. Um, <laughs> oh, Zonda, so pretty. I know, Starly. I'd love that. But happy new year to you, Sue. Thanks for popping in. Um, if we both buy McLaren Z, we have compromised our dream system. <laughs> yes, good point. Yeah, McLaren is. You know what? My brother-in-law works at McLaren, so he might be able to get us a discount. <laughs> Screen's looking a bit posh, Z. How did you do that? It's a program called Streamlabs OBS, Sue, and, and it has these ready-made themes that you can you can just choose, and it does it all for you really cool Karen exactly what I've done average selling price 25 pound plus to Southwest sellers trying to keep around 300 listings okay no I get that totally I'm just setting small goals first once I achieve those I'll go high exactly that's how we all start like it's exactly how we all start DBG um, so it's just a process um, so that's just it um, right my son is going to be working for me when he's 16 on work experience says this personal skits ah cool and karen says right definitely off now see you a lot later okay karen thank you for popping in appreciate it um starly my friend works there too he builds the p1 engine so that's 20 percent off what a small world starly what a small world <laughs> that is such a small world yeah he, he yeah he works there I, i'm not quite sure exactly what he does um but you know um, Sue says, oh, I gave up on OBS ages ago, couldn't work it out. Um, Sue, it, try downloading Streamlabs OBS. It's much nicer interface. It's much more accessible. It's not as daunting as OBS. I find this a lot nicer. 
Um, DBG says, at the moment, I'm running a home basically by myself because hubby's never here. Two small kids under six. I'm trying to build my business. I'll push. If if I push myself too hard, I'll give up. No, you completely understand, DBG. You've got a lot on your plate. You've got to work. That's the beauty of it. You can make it fit your own um, your own uh, needs as it is and then grow from there. Um, my nan is a cleaner there, so that's 1% of them, says this person's kids. Z, do you use any account software such as Wave or Sage trying to get this sorted for the new year? Sigh on the more. Hi there. No, I don't. Um, I don't. I just use like a spreadsheet and then just print it off things and just do it online. Um, probably should use something, but, uh, you know, it, one of those cool accounting apps so you can scan your receipts in or something. Um, but yeah, um, I've got my seven year old packing system and George says already had them help me pick orders from my unit, drop off parcels and shop in a charity shop says George. Yeah. My kids are just not into it at all. They're like, nope, but I don't mind because, um, they, they're doing their own things and they're, they're, they've got their own interests and they're, they're really hard working at what they do. So I, I'm happy with that. And um, Sue says, thanks, Z. Sounds great. Can I use my Logitech camera with it? Yes, you can. Um, like I said, try it out. It's very, um, it's very intuitive comparatively to, to, to the original OBS. Start them early, SD. Um, <laughs> had my son packing since he was six. <laughs> Slave labor law. Um, and Dave says, I use QuickBooks Self-Employed. Will be releasing videos on it sometimes before I die. Thanks for sharing, Dave. But yeah, QuickBooks, that's the one I was thinking of in my head, but I couldn't, couldn't get it. Um, DBG says, I bought my daughter to the charity shop one time. She roared across the shop. Mum, this would be great for eBay. <laughs> She's now barred from charity shops. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, kids do that, don't they? Um, kids do that. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm going to actually get on with some actual listing now let me just see you know what i need to have a a, a a drink i'm thirsty actually how long have we been going for wow nearly two hours guys nearly two hours well i'll tell you what i'm gonna go and um wrap this up because i've got to get this listing sorted and then i've got to go get some food for the house um i'm gonna obviously have to sort out the the bush on the top of my head i'm not sure if i'll get it cut i might just wear a um i might just wear a hat over it there you go this will do it i think oh, there you go there we go that's better um <laughs> on merch right now says dave um <laughs> well um i really do appreciate everyone popping into the chat and i really appreciate you guys sharing um sharing your ideas with me and i especially appreciate everyone that's super chatted that is it, very generous of you guys um completely humbled by it as always um thank you for watching i really appreciate it if you did enjoy it please leave it a thumbs up uh, if you didn't enjoy it give it a thumbs down um and um you know i'll see you guys in the next video thank you I started to thanks for the live. I best post these parcels. Have a great day. Thank you everyone for joining. Um, really appreciate it. Um, and we will see you in the next video. Wow, nearly two hours, but thanks for joining. Um, now I've got to figure out how to stop this, right? If I don't figure out how to stop it, that's not good. Damn it. Why do I do this? I don't know. Okay.